Hey, what's up? Justin from Make Supply here, uh, live again from Global Quarantine Headquarters. So for today's video, I wanted to do a quick comparison, uh, comparing the speed of creating a product uh, using uh, hand stitching versus machine stitching, and that's the time allotted amongst creating one versus five copies versus 15, and what that looks like uh, amongst all three uh, products. Wasn't super thrilled with how this video turned out uh, due to a uh, giant uh, fail right in the middle. Uh, you'll see that <laughs> if you keep watching. But I figured, hey, we're all at home anyway, so let's just uh, post it up and go from there. Uh, here is the uh, product I'll be making. It's just a little um, pouch with a button stud. I don't really have this pattern made up, but if you're interested in it, um, just holler and I can uh, send it to you. Anyways, uh, let's check out the results of uh, hand stitching versus machine stitching. All right, so for our speed test comparison, I created these two little pouches. They are identical in size, which is, uh, I believe, nine inches tall, stitch area by 10 inches wide. And I drew a uh, stitching groove on them and I'm going to hand stitch the one, machine stitch the other. So let's start with the hand stitched one now. So I just finished the hand stitching version. And I believe it took me, I think, approximately 18 minutes and 14 seconds. I'll just be rounding that up to 19 minutes. Um, I didn't stitch, I didn't rush when I was stitching, but I did move pretty quickly. I didn't take any breaks for water or anything like that. So um, just a slightly above average speed uh, to get it done. Okay, now let's do a machine stitch version.
So I just uh, finished the machine, uh, machine stitch version and took me officially four minutes and 22 seconds to stitch around the whole thing. As you can probably see on the camera here, I had an epic fail. Try to get that on the camera there. I was doing good around, I actually never used the swing down guide. So I decided to use it today for the video and I was doing good all the way around. And then I got here and I was pushing too hard and I moved the swing guide with the leather and it just barreled me around this corner into the wrong section. And I didn't notice it because I was staring at the camera the whole time. <laughs> so I, I corrected course and came back, but it just shows that uh, with a blink of an eye, you can ruin your project on one of these things. Okay, but since the um, purpose of the video was just to do some speed tests today, uh, I will now give my conclusion. Okay, so to conclude, let's uh, look at the numbers that I recorded for each step of the process and how long it took. Uh, some of this is averaged and rounded up or rounded down. Okay, so for the hand-stitched version. Uh, I estimated uh, for tracing the template to cutting the leather out, um, adding the button stud, gluing, and then adding the stitching line took roughly 30 minutes. Punching the stitching holes with my diamond stitching chisels took me 3 minutes. The entire saddle stitching process took me 19 minutes. And all the finishing touches like the edge beveling and if you were to be doing burnishing or dyeing your edges I estimate probably around 25 minutes. So all in all, the hand stitch version ran on average about 77 minutes or would break down to one hour and 17 minutes. For the machine stitch version, uh, most of the steps are the same. The tracing, cutting, button stud, gluing, and stitch line was 30 minutes. There was no hole punching because the sewing machine does that. And the stitching process was rounded up to five minutes. Then the finishing touches, the edge beveling, burnishing, edge dyeing, going to put on another 25 minutes there. So the grand total for the machine stitch version comes out to 63 minutes or one hour and three minutes. Okay, so looking at those numbers there, there's not a huge discrepancy in time saved doing the hand stitch version versus a machine stitch version. That's if you're doing one. Now let's say you have a, little, a batch that you want to do, maybe you have a wholesale order or you want to stock up for a um, farmer's market or something. So like we said, one, for the hand stitch version, like we said, one is 77 minutes or one hour and 17 minutes. Five would come in at 385 minutes or six hours and 25 minutes. And 15 would come in at 1,155 minutes or 19 hours and 15 minutes. For the machine stitch version, one came in at 63 minutes or one hour and three minutes. Five would come in at 315 minutes or five hours and 15 minutes. And then 15 would come in at 945 minutes, which breaks down to 15 hours and 45 minutes. So once you get to that, those larger numbers like the 15, the time saved between doing a machine stitch version and a hand stitch version is roughly three hours and 30 minutes. So it's actually uh, really difficult to close out a video where you already knew the results of the experiment before you even started. Um, yes, machine stitching will be some magnitude quicker than hand stitching. Uh, I think we all knew that. Uh, originally, I filmed this little diatribe uh, talking about machine stitching versus hand stitching and went into like the paths of leather working from hobbyist up into up to a uh, leather business owner and all this stuff but it really didn't make sense at the end of this video so I scrapped it and I'm actually more interested in where you guys sit on this debate um, are you a hand stitcher and a hand stitcher only you don't use the sewing machines at all and never plan to are you a uh, machine stitcher and you find that's the best way to do everything or are you somewhere in between maybe you 
do one or the other depending on the project. And I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this debate in the comment section below. And uh, if you could like the video, I'd much, much, much appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, thanks for watching.